Hey y'all. Hey. We just finished up doing peaches. Now we're getting ready to do peppers. And uh, we decided, since we don't really have a written down pickled pepper recipe, we decided we better, we're gonna write this down, it's good. These are the ones we did two weeks ago. We're gonna taste these. If they're good, we're gonna write it down. We're gonna use the same recipe. If they need a little tweaking, We'll know it and we can make adjustments. Our first batch was really good. We can't remember what we did for sure. We think we did the same thing or we're not. Yeah, we think. Can I taste it? Can I taste it? Okay, let me see. Y'all yeah, can have a taste too. Let me give you one. Let me try this. They smell like delicious pickle peppers. Did you stop it? There. They are good. <laughs> Is it not good, dude? You just didn't expect the acid. <laughs> you don't like them? I like that. We need water. Really? No, careful. Too many jars. No, no twitching. Oh my goodness. So they're really I think they're delicious. They're good, but they're. So yeah. tangy. We did straight vinegar with no water. I like it. But I think that we might need a little dilute that vinegar a little bit. I no? Don't, no. no. I think that once you put these. If they were on something like a burrito, they'd be at Yeah, or if I'm you not were, gonna eat them just straight. If like you were that. eating them with cheese, like imagine that with cheddar well, I'm cheese. I'm actually gonna or try a Mississippi pot roast. Never made it before. But that acid on that, you dump it on there. And then you put the peppers on top. Yep. No, no, you, put your fingers in. A lot of people use peppercinis, you but you like can use this. You want one? Uh -huh. Okay. <coughs> I thought put you didn't like it. Put your fingers in the jar. We don't know where those fingers are. Exactly. Get tiny bites every time. Okay, you want another one, Hopi? All right. Well, in a burrito, I think they'd be delicious. I'm gonna do one more. I think they're like, really tasty. And the boats, we eat them like this. Yes. I, yeah. <laughs> you definitely know that there's no bachelor's party in those babies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Those are good. So I think what we did was um, straight vinegar, organic, distilled white vinegar, mm -hmm. and a quarter cup of salt. Put it in the trash or in the paper. And then a quarter cup of salt per quart of uh, vinegar. And yep. that was it. We just heated up, dissolved salt, that's our brine, and then we cut up the peppers and the rings, threw them in the jars, and poured that over them. So, that's it? Yep. All right. Let's All right. start chopping peppers. Let's start chopping. Okay. That will go to the fridge. And I just, okay, so I do want to say these specifically are banana peppers, but you can do this with any type of pepper you want to pickle. If you like pickled like jalapeno peppers, we're gonna do it. You can Here do it. And we are. Well, you can do it with jalapeno peppers. Um, with our chili peppers, we like to put them in water, um, which then they have to be pressure canned, or we freeze them because we like we don't want the pickles for putting it in right. dishes. But other than like chilies or bell peppers, any other kind of pepper, we. You said. Wow. <laughs> Any other kind of pepper we got pickle. changed their plans we several times. Adapted as we can Adapted. That's the right thing. So we did well we had two and a half pints of uh, chili peppers. Now we're down to two I'm pints. Just stop things up. Um, Oops. That's sad. Anyway Aww. we diced our chilies. We have them here. We're going to pressure can them. The gochugurus We've heard they're great roasted, so we... No, the shishitos. Shishitos, yeah, not the gochugurus, that's another thing. The shishitos. Yeah. We heard they're great roasted. I roasted a couple of them on the gas stove, put a little salt on them. I thought they were good. Emma liked them. Kylie liked them. I thought they were hot. She said they were spicy. Um, I don't know. Um, we were going to put them in with, possibly in with the chili peppers, but I, they're too hot for the chili peppers, yeah. in my opinion. I didn't think they were that hot, but... So what I did was I put them in the oven on a sheet. I'm going to bake them, chop them, pressure can. Never heard of that, but that's just what I think I want to do with them. Yeah. So these are going to get hot packed or cold packed, what do they call it? I don't remember. 
don't know. Hot pack, because you're cleaning the hot liquid in the cold in the jar, so I think. It's something. It's something where they don't get canned, but the acid level in the vinegar is what actually We're preserves. not telling you to do this, yeah. but that's what we do. We're going to do these two that way. These will get pressure canned, the two jars of chilies, and maybe what's left of in the jar that just fell on the floor. We'll probably dump in one of these uh, jars of your chugurus once they get done. That jar is empty. Okay, well, so anyways, the vacuum cleaner will be eating up the other. Um, That's really sad. Half yeah, that was, yeah. I but dropped okay. an entire quart at least of um, tomatoes when we were making tomatoes last time. It's okay. Oh, but so, a famous. But a famous. But a famous. Over on the stove right now, we have hot sauce. Yeah. Never made hot sauce, but we were going to pickle all the jalapenos and stuff. We don't eat that many pickled jalapenos, yeah. a few. So then it was, I was like, why don't we make hot sauce? Because so, they like hot sauce. Yeah. So she looked up a hot sauce recipe. It's vinegar, salt, garlic, and, and peppers. peppers. So we did all of the gochugarus, right? Yep, and, all the and the jalapenos. Those have been super spicy. So we've got them over here. They're going to cook. They run through the blender. You cook and them until they're soft and then you puree them completely in the blender. Then we'll Dry. water bath them, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's those. I bit into a poblano a while ago, y'all. I Very love today. poblano peppers. I've had them at Mexican restaurants and they are so good. I put it on this burner over here and roasted it and let it do its little thing, blistered it and got it off there and took a big bite of it. Never have I had a hot poblano. It that was, thing, I don't know if it's just because of the lack of water that we had for so long, but I don't it know burned me where the up. the seeds came from for those. And it, somebody had given me seeds at one point, and I've always heard that if something. it crosses, like if you plant sweet peppers or less milder peppers with hot peppers, they can cross pollinate and therefore the following year the seed you save for that pepper can actually be hot well if that's the case and that's what happened these were like next to some ghost peppers or habaneros or something is it i like a hot food kind of i mean i can handle the heat as long as there's flavor yeah. but this was straight up, hot. straight up hot and a bitter flavor i don't mind a little bit of spice but i don't like something that's yeah like i typically love jalapenos that's like the limit on my spice um but these jalapenos are they're hot, hot, hot. Um, yeah, but I like the flavor of a jalapeno. Could be the variety too, because we bought them from the store. It might just be a super hot variety. And you, we also read that if it's really dry yeah, it during your peppers. growing season, you can get a hot pepper yeah. hotter. And uh, but we've got a bunch coming in up there, so hopefully with the rain, I think we're gonna get some rain today. So hopefully that'll help everything just kick Please it more into gear. Yeah, yeah. we did okay. water our our fall garden again up there today. And uh, things look, I am excited the about our garden. Are sprouted and everything Crazy. that we transplanted look good. Don't have any beets, um, rutabaga, or carrots yet. Yeah, yeah. So, but I think they take a little bit longer. Yeah, they'll take longer. So they can take a good while to germinate. But yeah. yeah, the radish is really coming up already. So it's exciting. I mean, I'm really excited. Yep, me too. But. All right. Well, let's, we'll, we'll bring y'all back when we figure out about this hot sauce once it cooks down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, y'all. We thought we had the camera on record or the phone because our camera's still on the fritz. Um, but we did not. It wasn't. I apologize. So um, all the excitement of blending this, you missed. Yeah. This thing, man, this, this I was saying, this Vitamix was a gift to us and it is phenomenal. It took those peppers and turned them into hot sauce. Peppers and seeds and everything. I mean, and it's good. What are you thinking? What do you think it needs anything else? It's hot know. sauce, isn't it? I mean, it yeah. is. I would think next time maybe less vinegar. Maybe add some water to it and less mm -hmm. vinegar, but it's... Uh, Can I taste it? Well, no, it's, it's really weird because it's hot right now. Um, but I want to taste it when it's hot. That's mm -hmm. why I want to taste it. Just say, baby. Hang on. It might be too spicy for you. Yeah. It's definitely spicy, but it's not, it's not like nowhere near the hottest hot sauce I've ever had. But it, it's so we're no, gonna water bath this. It has a good flavor. That's what I'm excited about. Good. Okay. I need some. I need some. I need some. I'm excited about not buying hot sauce. Well, this will last for a while because we yeah. don't. We really don't no, use a lot of hot sauce. That's gonna be. You think we have a half a we pint? We have a half pint jar right there. 
Okay. Yeah. So. I can put it in this. I don't need the funnel because it's. Okay. This pour is really nice. And you want close to an inch headspace. Oh, an inch? Yeah. Oh. So you might. I have, thought it was quarter inch. No, not for. Not for um, this, for okay, for jellies. Jellies, it is. Okay. Like you have a little much there, so you probably can. Just... Emma, do you want to eat the rest of this? Yeah. We're gonna have burritos for yeah, supper, so we'll save it. Save them. In fact, you might not even want to can that little jar and just keep it in the fridge. That's true. So yeah, we yeah. have. Just you can go ahead and top it off with that. Yeah. Just, just be careful for it. It's hot. It's not that hot, baby. I mean, it's spicy, but it's not. That I didn't hot. try it. It's probably. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Maria? Is it hot? It's hot, but it's not super hot. So we've got four and a half pints of that. We're going to water bath these. Yep. Four pints. And then we'll heat that in the fridge. Probably about 30 minutes. Yeah, about 30 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Right, guys so it's been a couple of weeks since we recorded what you just watched um we've been busy and i've been meaning to end this video so i can get it uploaded and published but it's been crazy this is the hot sauce it's very hot um we did some more that was a little less spicy because we used some milder peppers but we also used some really hot peppers it's not quite as spicy but it's all super spicy we also canned some chilies but we've eaten all those so i don't have any to show you um and we've froze a lot of peppers so we actually still have a lot more on the plants hopefully we won't get a frost anytime soon and they just keep producing for us because that's awesome we're excited but thanks for joining us today i hope you if you grew peppers i hope you had a great pepper year we had a pretty decent pepper year ourselves and if you aren't already subscribed to our channel we'd love for you to go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a video if you give us a thumbs up youtube will know that you are enjoying what you see and please comment below let us know what's going on with you or if you how you like to preserve peppers what's your favorite way to use peppers and we will catch you guys next time <music>